While in New York, lawmakers have finalized an agreement to legalize recreational marijuana sales to adults there, Maine is dealing with several proposed bills to alter our programs. Caregivers and people who grow their own medicinal cannabis are upset about changes that would reduce the amount they can grow in order to make it fall in line with what recreational growers are allowed to do. Small growing operations also say some of the new guidelines that would require upgraded security and tracking systems will cost them tens of thousands of dollars. They say patients are the ones who will pay the price, while the Office of Marijuana Policy says that's who it is trying to protect. If it does indeed uh, pose a public health threat, um, through the inventory tracking system, we're able to track source packages back to all of those products, uh, which is important with wholesaling uh, because it could be uh, on store shelves across the state. This is an attempt by the department again to overburden small scale cultivators by using technicalities to hamstring our cultivation, therefore preventing our businesses from being able to compete in the market. Many medical and recreational growers say the Office of Marijuana Policy is describing these bills to lawmakers as being just technical tweaks, when in reality, these would be monumental shifts for the industry in Maine.